All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, a new series I'm starting. I'm sorry for my absence. Um, as I explained in that short video I put up, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, uh, League has sort of taken precedence that, and I've been lazy. Um, I really have no excuse. <laughs> um, but I was waiting for the summer sale to show up on Steam so I could get some cool games to play, and I saw Assassin's Creed was finally on sale, so I got like every single Assassin's Creed game, and I'm gonna skip this if it will let me. Alright. Yeah, I already have that select. Does it? Okay, it does have my controls. Okay. All right, apparently it saves your profile and controls accordingly. So, I've played this a while ago. I have it for the Xbox, but my Xbox recording setup is a little weird. Um, and it doesn't always give me the best quality, so I'm like, you know what? For $5, I got each Assassin's Creed game except for the most recent one. Um, so I have played through, I want to say, about 3 quarters to 80% of this game on the Xbox. And I figured I might as well start doing it all again. Um, I know a new game is coming out, and I want to say in October-ish, end of October. Um, I think it's number... Oh, let's see, they're not all numbered, so that's the problem. It's like, it's the seventh Assassin's Creed game that's coming out, so I am going to try to play all of the games. And these people I have no faces. I heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I hey, faceless women, get out of my way! For in much wisdom is much grief. And he's knowledge. Increase and sorrow. I got whoa. I didn't get to read any of that. We've got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment. Retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize. That's weird. It's not telling me. Focus. Like a B. I'm using a gamepad, by the way. What you're seeing isn't quite too. Just a picture of the past. Okay, at least the buttons are working. They're the right colors, and I can pretty much get that. Damn it. It's not working. Hey, stop Give pushing me, people. He'll adjust. The first time it's never easy. Okay. We're losing him. That's enough, Miss Stuman. We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. Whoa. There is, th this is the aspect of the game I like. It's like you're going back into memories okay. of ancestors. Oh. I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now. I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Who I was. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? <laughs> Live or die? Lie down. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? 
Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. <laughs> now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. All right, now that that's some talking, I can finally talk. Um, I always liked that idea of the games uh, being that it's it's Warning. all psychological. Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Good. Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. I remember having Proceed such a hard time with this when I first played. The synchronization process. Forgive me if I fail a time or two here. Ah, nope, nope, not the angle I want. There we go. Ah, uh, really? I always had a hard time with this particular part of the tutorial. <laughs> press and hold. Okay. I think that was always my problem. I never pressed and hold it. There we are. Yay. All right. Well done. Yeah, so I always liked the background of the Assassin's Creed in this form. The differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. What? Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. Okay, so that's the trigger. Sorry, the buttons aren't entirely clear in this game. <laughs> we will continue your synchronization process by testing some high-profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Okay. Got it. I got it. 
I got this. There we go. I'm gonna talk more once the tutorial's over, because I kinda need to pay attention to grab and directly throw them. Good. Okay, apparently I wasn't quite on target last time. Whatever. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. Okay. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. Got it. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Okay. Done. Well done. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so I, I do like the whole idea of this being, um... The Animus will also provide other important information. All psychological the based. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. Cool. The different states Animus will be explained in context soon. Vanish, anonymous. Okay. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. Got it. First, lock onto your target. Okay, not now. Now, select okay, your hidden it. blade. Hat switch. What's. What, what. What is that particular button? I don't know. Oh! Okay, got it. With your blade selected, okay. walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. There we go. Cool. And of course, the soldier's gonna see that his friend what is dead. Here? They're all faceless. This is weird. Probably figures I did the dead it. Dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Got it. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Provoke him? I'm supposed to do that? He's an assassin! Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Oh, Alright. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. <laughs> Ow! I'll hunt you down! Not what it is. Excellent. The line of sight has yeah. been broken. Now, run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Yeah. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden. Cool. The soldier is still looking for you. <sighs> Wait until your social status changes again. Fully with this. All better things to do. Yeah, you do. Like burying your best friend. <laughs> well done. The soldier has lost your track. Yeah. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Cool. Yeah. Sorry if the tutorial is a little Being slow. Anonymous will um, fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. Okay. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Okay. Fair enough. Got it. I remember most of this from playing, but I might as well refresh. Let us continue with a demonstration of blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Got it. Alright, so I just go like this. Yeah, I remembered using this particular method a lot. In order to get by soldiers. Too easy. Good. Anyway, um, so this is a little slow. A new ability is available to you. 
Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Mm. Oh, that's well cool. Done. Okay. Fully synchronized. Okay. That's cool. Alright, so... Oh, okay, I don't need to do anything there. Got it. Remember, Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. I got it. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The creed Can consists of three tenets. From too high First, hurt. never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life or by respecting the creed. Got it. All right. You have successfully completed the tutorial. Yay. The most stable memory block will now be loaded. Okay. While that's being done, unless it goes to a cutscene, which it might... I don't know. Anyway, so this is all pretty um, psychological, Wait. as I've said a few times. There must be another way. Ugh. This one need not die. Cutscenes. An excellent view. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task, only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. Oh, right. Ahead. I'm a dick. <laughs> Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. All right. So, um... I don't know how much longer I want to do this episode. I don't want to make these too long. Um, uh, oh, cool. Press and hold on. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Got it. They don't teach you everything in the tutorial, apparently. No. Okay. That works too, I guess. I always hated that particular thing. No, 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 no. I didn't want you to do that. No. Up. Thank you. Right. I remember. I'm a complete jerk. Cool. Let's go up. Um, I'll probably end it in a few minutes once I get through a lot of this basic story line creation stuff. Oh, yay. A soldier I get to kill. Yay. Vision. Okay, so there's an enemy. Got it. And... No, what was it? Lock on. Yep. Vote profile or... Or... Profile kill or... High profile kill. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm gonna go low profile because there's no one else around. There we go. I'm not gonna be a complete and utter jerk. There. That must be the Ark. The Ark? Of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! <laughs> I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Sable. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Well, you know, a good leader knows to listen to his subordinates. 
Just saying, I hate playing a character that's complete and utter asshole. Ah, <sighs> fine. Oh great, I'd have to take on five of them, are you kidding? Okay, so there's four enemies, one time. got it. Great, I have to turn my back on them, which I don't want to do. Alright, so how do I... Let's see. I'm just thinking, how can I go about this? Hold Templars! You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Let's see. Can I... Low profile kill or high profile? Why can't I go any closer? Blood. No! Ah. <laughs> And yeah, I get owned. <laughs> you know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Yep, I'm a complete utter jerk. Alright, I chose hope. High profile kill. I'm curious as to whether if I chose low pro low profile if it'd be different. Alright, where do I go? Um, alright, fine. Do that. Okay then. Gotta get up there. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's see, can I yes I can go up. Uh, let's go over this way, and then maybe. Nope, I probably apparently I can't go up. All right, fine. Uh oh, here, der. I can go that way, or up, up, up. There go. No, 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 no. I didn't want you to do that. There we go. I just can't do it when I'm trying to move. There we go. Cool. Alright, once this little tutorial thing is over, I will end it. I know what happens after this point, so I just sort of have to deal with it and go. <laughs> there we go. Up. Up. Up and up. There we go. Skipping part of memory to a more recent one. Okay then. To a part where I get punished for being stupid. Sorry, I'm probably giving away some of the story here. I'll let the story get started, so this is kind of long an episode it's because of the tutorial. You've returned. Raouf. It is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. No. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, sir. Buried in his books, as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. Altair. I think that's what my name is. Alright, cool. Um, so, I will go and... F actually, this is probably a good time for me to stop, even though it's just getting to the part where it's actually free-roaming gameplay. Um, yeah, why not? If it's a longer episode, guys, I'm a little sorry for that. Um, and this is sort of even a test. I'm not 100% sure whether... Um, I need to get up there. So, where's the best... Okay. Alright, there's a guard here. Let's see. Uh, I'll get to the tower. I'll let the storyline sort of get established, and then I'll, uh, and then I'll call it an episode. So if this is a little long, it's mainly because the tutorial was in this episode, and it was kind of boring for you guys to watch. Uh, but anyway, I have a little bit of time to. There has a soldier here, but as long as I'm not too suspicious. Um, so I do like the fact that this is all psychological. You're reliving your ancestors' memories. Um, I find that's kind of cool, <laughs> mainly because. 
the reincarnation thing is sort of a cool concept. I don't entirely agree with it. Um, parts of it I do, but depends how strict you are on the reincarnation concept. Um, I like the fact that you, if you're a, once a human, you're, you stay a human. If you're an animal, you stay that particular animal in multiple lives, but um, just, be, just because, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of evidence that the human spirit does change. I'm not into religion, but that sort of aspect is something that, yeah, okay, I could see it being plausible. A lot of religion I don't see being plausible, uh, but that's just my opinion. And am I even going in the right direction? Yes, I am. Okay. Cool. Uh, I do need to go this. It zigzags back and forth. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so I've played through about three quarters of this game, so I sort of remember. I'm going to try to skip as many of the um, like side quests as possible. If I do do them, I'll probably do them off camera. Uh, just because this game will take forever if I don't do that. And I want to try to get through as many of the Assassin's Creed games uh, before the last one comes out as possible so I can play that one right as it comes out. Um, that being said, that means I have to play through five games. <laughs> or six games, I think, actually. There's three that are named and three that aren't. Alright. Now, those are all good. They're good people, so that's okay. I think. Right. Pretty castle. I find it funny that if everyone knows this is an assassin's guild, why do these people allow the assassins to exist? I mean, yes, I know there's assassins inside governments and such um, to assassinate prime targets that are of importance, but... But these guys seem to be sort of hated. So I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, that sort of always confused me. But I suppose with this being... I believe this is in the Damascus area. In the Middle East. So uh, there was lots of problems with things. Oh. Ah, there we go. He returns at last. Abbas. Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Brother. Yep. I always hated this guy at the beginning of the game. I'm like, why am I such a complete and utter jerk? Like, honestly. Weapons are restricted. Okay. So, don't take out my weapon. Fair enough. Alright, so... Uh, it's kind of slow going at first, but once I start going on missions and such, it changes to actually quite quick. Uh, I want to say this is the library over here. I thought it was up. No? No, okay, wait, what? Okay, apparently I'm there, but... Okay, I think I know where I need to go. If I remember at all from playing the game before. I don't remember which side this is on. I think it's this way. Oh, they connect, so it really doesn't matter. But there's the guy I need to talk to. It doesn't always show levels. I kind of wish it showed a... There we go. Altair. Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. 
this time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak! Not another word! This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Ouch. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding now to a more recent one. All right. Let's finish this, get more of the storyline exposed, and then we'll uh, we'll call it. Where? Oh, okay, there's no, no no guards in here I need to kill. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Oh, sorry, dude. Okay. Uh, hidden blade, fist, throwing knife, sword. Selector sword. Um, just get that letting. There you go. Okay, cool. Probably shouldn't be using the ladder, but all right, fine. Again, this this will be a long episode, mainly because one, I'm testing to see the copyright um, problems that might come up from this game, and uh, two, I want to give you the full storyline before. Oh, come on, I can't jump down. There, oh no! Ow! Oh, I didn't lose any sync. That's kind of cool. Is there anything? Oh, 
Nope, oh, wrong way. There you go. Use some of that throwing action. Alright, let's kill a few more. Oh, there you are. No! Oops. Can I not die? Thank you. While the soldier stupidly stands there and waits for me to get up. <laughs> I think I just need to continuously make my way back down and kill as many soldiers as I can on the way. Um. Hey! Don't be hurting those people, bro! Who else can I kill? Oh, there's a few more down there. Break off the attack and return to Russia! Almohad is commanding! Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Alright. Atayer, come! Al Mualim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Oh. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. Oh right, I remember this part. We get to see some of the more unimpossible things <laughs> that the Assassin's Creed game introduces. Um, I remember having a hard time with this particular part too, but I'm hoping I don't do that again. Coming, bro. Let's speed this up a little bit. There you go. Stand on that platform, Altair. Cool. Get away, birds. Heretic! I die on what you have stolen from me! Nope. You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Oh, great. Uh. Ow. Well, there goes his your brother. Your village lays in ruins, and your stars are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain? When the wells run dry, and their food is gone. My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good. And they shall have it all around. Nope. Follow me, and do so without hesitation. That many people taking on a full band of assassins? Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! Right. Yeah, I love this. I abuse that fall so much. Oh my leg! Oh, and you miss. Oh my leg! Quiet, or the Templars will hear us. Ow! Ouch! I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Cool. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. Will do. All right. Low profile. Cool. All right. So yeah, I always had a hard time with this particular part too. Um, not this part, of course, but I think it was mainly walking across this. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Um. Yeah, so this is kind of fun. Um, I don't know. I, I always liked this game. I haven't played any of the other ones, so those are going to be a complete and utter surprise, but I sort of know a lot of what happens here. So we're going to set a trap for those Templars. Ha ha ha. I mean, th that, that wasn't a lot of Templars in order to actually take on an entire cathedral of assassins. I'm sorry, but... Okay. 
Got it. All the way up there. No problem. All right. There, if I remember right, there was... Yeah, there we go. Jeez. No, no, no! That was what I always had a hard time with. <laughs> Doing that by accident. <laughs> and, of course, I desynced because I didn't. Okay, I'm slowly resyncing back up. Good. Now how do I get up? Can I... No, 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 no. Not... Ow. How did I... How do I do that? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was my problem. I thought I would need to go to that. Over. There we go. Up. Let's go up there. Up. Over. Up. Up. There we are. Hey, I didn't fail. Awesome. Alright, what do I do now? Oh. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Good. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent. I know. You and deserve stay that. stay your tongue! Unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child. Or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. I'd enjoy that. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Jerusalem, okay. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And stab so you him. leave me no choice. Or stab Peace me because I'm a jerk. You, oh. ah. Ah. Ow. That hurt. I'm labeled as a traitor. He's Yay! He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. 
You know, I do need to eat. <laughs> or something. Alright, I think I'm done the episode here, but, uh... Yeah, we find out Altair is a major jerk and is probably stripped of his entire title in the Brotherhood. So, um, I'm hoping this doesn't get too much copyright problems, and uh, join me next time to figure out what the heck's going on. This has been Zexion Gamer, signing off.